In the previous videos, we were we were focusing mainly to upload the file and make sure that when we upload the file, it goes to the proper folder and then it goes to the edit form. So now it is time to discuss about the encoding. We know that not all browser can support all the formats of uh, videos. So videos like when you upload to, uh, to YouTube or any video platform, normally there is you will notice there is a processing which means that there will be something called transcoding or encoding or just making sure that different file formats can be played from mobile from different browsers and so on so we are going to do something called encoding using ff ffm pick which is a tool used by uh, many people and it's very famous and very powerful which provides many features such as converting one format format to another we can create thumbnails and uh, and so on on the other hand also if you notice in many browsers there is an enhancement in the way that the video is is streaming and there are some technologies called http live streaming or hls which we are going to utilize which is basically it will build a playlist with a format or with extension m3 u8 which is basically like different files and based on your speed and so on it will it will it will show you the right form of video file and it calls like something some people they will say like adaptive bitrate streaming and so on so it's you can go to the internet and read about it or search about it on youtube or in on google you, you will see a lot of information explaining the hls which is we are going to utilize here since we are using laravel also we are going to utilize some package or one package called called laravel ffmpeg which is very powerful uh, library or package that traps uh, some some commands into ffmpeg and make our life easier when we're dealing with with converting an hl so we can th do things like when we go to h and search for example hls so basically it will there is many so you can go for example documentation and see the hls which is first of all you will define the bit rates which is basically the type of the video or sound or audio and then the bit rates that you want in during this formats and then you can load the video from disk and open it and then export it and so on so we are going to see all of these in this in the coming videos when we do the encoding and so on so let's get started so the first thing we need to make sure that we can run from our command line and make sure that ffmpeg is installed there are different ways to install it but we'll go through the uh, download for example and based on your operating system or the server you are running f uh, laravel from it whether it is linux my operating system or windows or mac and so on so from mac so we're going to download for example because i'm using mac i'll focus on mac on this video so we'll download download this file ffmpeg and also FM, ffprop which is basically uh, the tool used to re do some uh, read some file information or video information like like duration and so on but the main thing conversion it will be done through this command so after downloading this one i will show you what i did basically this is the downloaded zip files i ex uh, extracted and i have these two files so i will move these files because my under the bin directory of my uh, macbook i'll go to this direction or this uh, path user local pin and then I will I already moved these two files here and then this is the first step and I'm using Mac and then what I'm using uh, also I know I want to make sure that when I go to the command line and I run let me just do this one this mean enlarge this one and when I say ffm pig it works because the ffm pig now or that path I mentioned it's already in my on my path direction so based on your configuration for the path whether you are using for example uh, bash shell or you are using zit shell in my case then you need to go to this configuration for example code this file sorry and then go to the home and open zhrc in code and then you will see whether that path is added or not for, for me this path is added if not then you need to add it based on user local and pin so i will be able to run that command from anywhere in my machine so when i say ffmpeg for example it will allow me pig 
it will allow me to see this one same thing for FFM uh, FFM prop FFM prop again it will be the same thing but this need more information I can see so basically after setting this so I'm able then to add this path in my um, Laravel application so if you are using Windows then again you need to go to the environmental file and then add that one in the path the same path whatever you were you install it because you will need it in the configuration so after making sure that I have FFM pick and FF prop then we are ready to go and install this package so let's go to the installation of this package it's very simple we go up and then install this file basically this is the, the package if I go to the either we go here in the we can go here in the command line and we go to folder so it will install me this package and then what I need to go to the app under the configuration and add this to providers these two lines and under also aliases so this is installed we'll jump to the code and we go to the let me just close this one this one and then go to config slash app and let me close everything we go here and then add this line as well as this line okay down and we should be done so let me go again and also publish the configuration as second step clear and now my configuration is 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 done under the config if i go to http or configuration you'll find L laravel ffmpeg this is very important these two things that ffmpeg binaries and ffm prop binaries which is it should take me to the absolute path that we talk about it under the user for example uh, we saw here where it is in the, under the path which is if we go in mac i believe if i say where is where is ffm pig it will give me the path this path or where is or where i think yeah it is where so this is the path that i should be able to run this command so what i will do i will copy to this to, i will go to the dot env file in the file and I add this at the bottom these two variables okay and then from the command line I'll copy this so I believe I don't need everything I need this for only this one or let's add it all let's keep it all fm big and then ffm prop this command I'll keep it here as well so we the Laravel and this package now knows where to get this binaries I saw some people they keep it on the file instead of keeping it from the system but anyways in anyways I noticed that it will require the um, the absolute path so we need to make sure these paths are correct as well as when we download and use the the project files we need to make sure that we are downloading for the right operating system so you need to be careful whether you're using Linux Windows and or Mac and so on so because some people they will use for example Mac but they are running virtual machines on Mac and then they need this version to do the conversion on that project and and vice versa same thing for Windows and so on so you need to have the right version for for that uh, configuration so I think we are set now we have installed the this package also we configured the binaries we make sure that the FFM big works fine and so on so uh, if you go to the website one last thing I will do here if you go to the home page of this page so here's uh, one example they bought for example if you can run from to make sure that this packaging is working fine you can run FFM pig for example minus I and then the file the video file and then the output and then run so it'll make sure that's conversion so we can do this you can go to the home and then downloads downloads i think there is one folder called temp temp4 i think no cd and then cd temp temp course files and i list it they have one sample folder here or sample mp3 so i can write ffm pig minus i 
minus i and then the sample dot mp4 for example or let's go to sample i have this dot flv so i'll do this one sample dash flv and then the source we can make it test dot mp4 so it will convert this file dot flv to mp4 and then run the command and then it will do the conversion if you notice here it will dump it this one is just now it is dumping the file so it is working fine so the conversion is working fine so i think we are done with the setup so let's do a lot of stuff regarding the conversion from the coming videos